Okay, guys, today what we're going to do is we are going to be editing um, a headshot of either Zach Galifianakis or George Clooney, and you can find those on our website um, under Grade 11, under Stock Photos, of course, at uh, St. Joe's Graphic Design.com. So we're going to open up our Photoshop. We're going to click Open, and we're going to uh, find the file that we've already saved from the website. Click on it to open it. And there we have it open right there. Now, because this is a web image, it's going to be 72 pixels per inch. So we're going to upsample it right here by going image. Uh, I'm sorry, rather not image. Yeah, image. We'll go image size. And you can see right here, it's a, uh, the original size here. It's about an 8 by 10 inch, just a little bit larger than that, and it's at 72 pixels per inch. So we're just going to change the resolution to that to 300 pixels per inch, and it'll make it slightly larger, as you see here on the navigator. Now, the first thing that happens when we open it up, we have our layer 1, and uh, we want to change this. We're going to click on where it says layer 1 right there, and we're just going to type in original so that we remember that this is the original image, like so. Because we're going to be doing some editing and I want to keep the original image just to uh, see the changes that we make, I'm going to actually not edit on the original image or the original layer. I'm going to duplicate this by right click or control click and I'm going to just click duplicate layer and original copy, that's a, that's a fine name. And I'm going to take the original layer here and I'm going to lock it up with this little lock button right here so that I can't really mess with it. So I'm going to be using the original copy to do most of my edits. And I think it's important to know that's what I'm doing. And so I can just even take the uh, visibility off on that. or doesn't matter. Leave it on. Turn it off. Whatever. We'll deal with that later. So now we have the original copy here. And I'm going to go over here to my marquee tool. Right? If it's... Uh, double like you see right here it's right next to the move tool or if it's um, elongated like a long and skinny toolbar then it's the one right underneath and feel free to either use your rectangular marquee or your ellipse elliptical marquee uh, the shortcut for that is M and right now what we're gonna do making sure we're on the original copy layer we are going to choose one of the eyes uh, the one that we think perhaps that we like the best and I'm just going to marquee it like he, this I'm going to make sure I kind of get uh, the entire eyebrow in there you'll see the marching ants come on that's what it's selected and now I'm going to either right click or control click or command click if I'm on a, uh, on a PC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer via copy now when I click layer via copy you'll see what happens here is this it's actually created a new layer with the thing that I've selected on it and I'll show you what I mean right there so there it is right there and I'm going to click on where it says layer one because I want to make sure that this is well organized I'm going to call it I and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll press V as my keyboard shortcut or I can go over here to the move key when I do that because I have my auto select and my show transform tools you'll see that it's right here and I have my uh, transform tools up and I'm just going to grab it right here hold down and slide and you can see I can move it right where I want it to be and I can either hit enter on my keyboard or I can uh, click the check mark to accept the layers now uh, I think I've done a pretty good job on where I want it to be, but what I can do over here on this particular layer, up here in your layer uh, panel dialog box, you see that there's the opacity. If you take the opacity down, what happens is it changes the how transparent this particular layer is, and you can start seeing the layer underneath. The um, re reason I'm doing this is just so I can make sure that the eye is lined up, because again, if the eye is too close or too wide set, it'll make it look a little strange. So I'm trying to make it uh, as symmetrical as possible, um, keeping things in the, sort of the right shape where I want them to be. Once I have it where I want it, um, I'm going to use the eraser tool. And the eraser tool is, the shortcut is E, or you can go down here. It looks like a, like a black and white rectangle, kind of on an angle there. And I'm going to click on that. I have to make sure, though, that I'm on the right layer that I'm actually trying to erase. And 
when I click on the eraser tool, same as when I click on any tool, the option bar at the top changes here. And so you can see it gives you some different options. When I click here, it gives me the type of brush that I'm using. And I want to have a brush that has a nice feathered edge. And then it gives me the opacity. If I have it at 100%, it's going to erase 100%. Um, and I'll just give you, let me just use my square brackets to make my brush a little bit bigger. Uh, are you seeing that? Let me just see. There we go. And you can see it's getting a little bit bigger. So 100% is taking it right out. If I want to be a little bit more subtle and take my time, maybe go a few times over it, I'll change the opacity on it. So all I'm going to do is sort of make take down some of those rough edges and blend that eye in so that it's a more natural eye and looks like it actually belongs there. Okay, And, and because I have the opacity down at 65%, that's why I s sort of have to do so many... Uh, passes over top before it's all erased. And so now I kind of have this look. And you can see, you have to make sure you're on the right layer, uh, what I've done essentially is this. So I can tidy it up by doing it just like this if I want to. And you can see the eye underneath kind of like that. Okay, and when I think I have it kind of the way that I want, you of course you can zoom in either using the navigator to zoom in, the navigator slider there, or you can use Z as your um, keyboard shortcut and go in and just make sure that it's as kind of a clean transition and kind of the way that you want it to look. Okay, so that that will take care of the eye. I think that's not so bad. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing over here with the nose, going back to the original copy. M is my shortcut for marquee. Again, you can have it as an elliptical marquee or you can have it as a square marquee, your choice. And I'm just going to marquee uh, part of the nose here. And I'm going to do the same thing again, control click or right click, and I'm going to layer via copy. And uh, now I have this part of the nose. And so what I'm going to do with this part of the nose, I'm going to use my pick tool. Or um, V is my keyboard shortcut. And I'm just going to drag it on over like this. Bring it into kind of where I want it to be and click select that now I will use E for an eraser tool make sure I'm on oh make sure you call this sorry make sure you call this the nose layer and very subtly I'm just going to kinda take out anything that doesn't really fit or belong or maybe looks unnatural okay so now uh, I'll use my space bar to turn it into the hand and slide down just a little bit and the hand's also over here, if you didn't know uh, where the space bar is, uh, is the shortcut for the hand. And I'll use my marquee this time. I'm going to use the elliptical marquee, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the lip. Now, if I do this, my problem right now, what I realized when I did it, is that I'm on the nose layer, and I'm trying to marquee an area here where there is nothing. So I have to make sure I'm actually on, um, and you can see when I'm, oopsie, you can see when I'm on this layer. It has pixels selected, and again, I'm going to right-click, layer via copy, and then here's my mouth. And what I'll do with this V for my pick tool, and I'm just going to take it and drag it over here to kind of make that more symmetrical. Click OK, make sure that's a mouth tool. And then I'm going to uh, zoom out with my navigator, and or I can press Command-0, and that will... Um, make it fit inside of my uh, my frame area and I can say okay not so bad so once I kind of have it the way that I want it to be oh I should go in here too again with my eraser touch this up a little bit uh, maybe zoom in a little Let's see if there's any glaring errors no it seems to be kind of okay Command-0 to zero it out, or of course you can use your slide here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these ones down. Um, multiple ways of doing that. I think maybe the easiest way at this point right now is make sure that your original layer, the visibility is off, because I'm going to come up over here where it says Layers, and I'm going to go down to the bottom and it's going to Merge Visible. Merge Visible is going to take all of those layers and sandwich them all together, uh, any layer that is visible will all of a sudden become one layer, which is good when you're finished with certain areas, but it could be potentially bad if you wanted to go back and rework them. Uh, we could have a problem, but I think I'm pretty satisfied. I'm ready to merge visible. So here we go. Merge visible. And now you see 
uh, I have the edited version and the original version. So we'll take a look. And I'll go instead of call this instead of I1, I'll call it uh, symmetry because essentially uh, that's what we've worked on at the, up until this point. Okay, and so go ahead and at that point, once this is done, I'm going to either file save as or also if you see the shortcut here, it'll be shift command S and save as and I want to make sure that I'm saving it as a Photoshop document you got to make sure it says PSD it will keep your layer so that you can edit and I'm just gonna save that on my desktop for now and voila we have a version of the edited uh, Zach Kalifanakis or in your case it could be the George Clooney as a PSD and when we're done this we'll go in and do some skin edits okay good luck